You know what Scotty Scheffler does on the Tuesday mm. night of the Masters? He hosts the Champions Dinner. All the past oh. Masters winners get to That's come, nice. and he gets to pick the menu for it. It's really a nice thing. In my opinion, it should be cultural. You have Japanese champions and British champions mm. and champions from all over. Really a chance to show off the cuisine that you're most proud oh. of, that you're okay. most fired up about. I want to read you Scotty Scheffler's menu for this Wait, year's he, Masters Champions Dinner. He gets to pick the menu? He picks it all. The champion picks it. Oh, for where's Scotty Scheffler from? He's from Texas. Okay. I just I wanted, wanted to a base. You, I wanted to see I want to tell you his menu. Okay. It starts with cheeseburger sliders. Okay. Nice. And then it goes to firecracker shrimp. Okay. From there, tortilla soup. All right. Wow. Okay. Little just want to mention- vibe. No meat in the tortilla soup. I don't know what tortilla soup is without meat, but it's literally tortilla soup. So just like corn and tortilla? Okay. Texas ribeye steak or blackened redfish wow. for the entree. Yeah, this doesn't and sound very... The dessert... Oh, there's more. I thought it was... The... Oh, the dessert. Oh, I'm sorry. The dessert is actually good. Warm chocolate chip skillet cookie. I would do one of those. No problem Ooh, with that the dessert. that sounds great. Yeah. But you were about to say... You don't like that menu, right? I would like it if I was going to a barbecue, but it doesn't sound like it should be something for the masters. But what was like the menu last year or the year before? Is this something where it's just fun? Like I get to show off my personality or is it, this is a high class event and we have to show who we are. First of all, don't ask me questions. I don't know the answer to. Second of all, yes, this is a cultural event. The menu is supposed to represent you and Scotty Scheffler is telling us how damn boring his white ass is. This is a terrible menu to represent Texas, the place he's from. You mentioned going to a barbecue. There's no barbecue food. What are we doing? We go well, it's to like Austin burgers. to visit a friend and you go have barbecue because you're in Texas. That's what you sure. do, right? Yeah. The the way I feel like it should have been was just like some – it feels like snooty, right? Like you, I imagine it as being snooty. But part yeah. of me is maybe this is good. Maybe it like lightens up a little because they are a little strict over there at the PGA. They don't want those live boys in there. I think it's maybe a good thing for this to get this younger generation in, younger people. I don't want to like shit on your point, Jeremy, but – I would eat the food. Like, I would definitely be like, I'm eating this. This looks yeah, good. you would eat it at a barbecue. If, if you had the dinner of a lifetime at Augusta National with the, all the Masters champions, Tiger and Phil and all the guys throughout history, Jack Nicholas and Arnold Palmer would have been there. They're all there at this dinner. Yeah. And you show up and they're passing out cheeseburger sliders. You're like, where am I? Is this a, some kind of universe? I, I don't know what's going on here. Are people, has anybody said anything about it? Is this something like people are coming out and be like, what's this yes. guy doing? Yes, people oh, okay. actually okay. like it. And that's what pisses oh, me off the most. Okay, people so I, actually like it. No, this is an board. embarrassment for America, our country. So we're all embarrassed. And if you're a Texan, and I know we have Texans listening, it's an embarrassment for you too. There is no barbecue on this menu and it makes me so mad. Wow. It makes me so mad. That there's no pulled pork. That's your specialty, bud. And you're going cheeseburger, sl- tortilla soup. I, someone tell me what's in tor- tortilla soup. Please, someone tell me. I'll look up the recipe sauce. later. We'll chat GPT. Yeah. I, seriously. I want to mention. Yeah. Gronk was asked if he won the oh. Masters, what would his champion's dinner be? Oh, I love it. And okay. I I get it right away. And I loved his answer. Okay. What, you know what he what's said? What's his vibe? Okay. Chicken tender sub. <laughs> oh, that's a great. Publix chicken tender sub. And I love it. And I love fried chicken. So you can be somewhat basic, but have a little flair, have a little different. Jeremy, it's not much cheeseburger sliders. It's not much different from what Scotty's doing. I think it's in the same realm. Like they're just doing, it's almost like the last meal. It's like, this is basically what your last meal looks like. Last meal. Right? Yeah. It's kind of last meal. So we've talked about it for a few minutes. I want to hear what your last meal would be when you win the Masters. So do I have to pick a whole course? Yeah, start throwing some things out that show your culture, your identity, who you oh, are, Mike. Oh, man. I kinda, be less I'm, boring than Scotty. I immediately feel like I want some sort of sushi. Do we start out with some, like, sushi hand rolls, and then do we go into some, like, ginger seaweed salad with a little miso Wait, what, soup? what is your family history? Where are you taking Oh, I have me? to do family history? I'm just, like, well, in the mood for sushi. It should represent you in some way. In some way. So you're from – all right, so if I'm, like – all right, I live in Los Angeles. Do I do a mix of different types of food? There's a lot of food Love here that. in LA. Yeah, do cultural. you do new yeah. American food, like different takes on food, where it's like it is a burger, but maybe you have some more stuff on it? But right now I'm in the mood for sushi. Let me, I don't know. It's tough because you have to pick out, you have to course out a whole meal. You know what meal I really enjoyed? The meal before the night of my wedding. Whatever that, yes. the, all that Pink Italian mama. food. Pink, yeah, Pink Mama with the wow. pizza, the pasta, the burrata, yeah. the wine. That would be great. 
Mike, that's part of your culture. You have a French background, and that yeah. restaurant is in Paris, France. Uh, shout great. out, Pink Mama. If you want to sponsor yeah. our show or send oh, over some, some pizza and pasta, yes. we would love that. We'd love it. What was that? What was that pasta that was unreal? Which one was it? I don't know. There was and it, in the truffle yeah, pasta. Truffle. And it was endless. It was just like bowls and bowls of food, and no one knew. I, even I didn't know how many courses we were getting. It was just food and food and food. They tried getting us full on pizza, and I was telling people, no, they have killer pasta here. I did my homework. I was like, don't oh, get wow. full. Don't get full yet. And then the pasta came out and it kept coming and coming but that's part that's paris that's fine that's what would yours what would your final meal i don't know if i can beat chicken tender sub from Publix. (laughs) i would put some things around it i love potato pink jewish culture here so insert a little culture in of course like lock we love those maybe matzo ball soup maybe maybe add some of that but then i was thinking is beautiful i was thinking for you it could be like chick-fil-a sandwiches with some of the waffle fries and maybe dessert could be like Skittles and stuff like all your Papa sugary, John's pizza, yeah, all the national brands. Yeah, all the national brands would just be delivered. Yeah, that'd be great. 